Hey, growers, check out my first pool of green peppers. I've harvested these firm fruits early as, well, I didn't want to wait any longer. Well, and my Facebook buddy, Ryan Martinage, well, he recommended it to keep my plants super productive. So (laughs) it's pretty cool, huh? I'll be cooking these up later in a Thai curry. So let's take a look at the plants. As you can see, we've had some fairly heavy rainstorms, and it's been very warm in the mid to high 90s. Uh, The plants are okay, though, a little battered from the rain, but they'll recover in no time. More importantly, the electrical outlet for the pumps and the timer are well protected. As I said, it's been hot, so the plants have been drinking a lot of water. You see that line there? That's where I topped up the tank to yesterday. Now, that's around 5 gallons. I top up with just water and adjust the pH when necessary with dilute pH adjuster. Keeping the nutrient solution a little weaker will help these peppers deal with the high daytime temperatures. The back row of plants, you'll recall I removed all the flowers to encourage vertical growth. They've responded well and they're steadily growing up the trellis. And as you can see, these guys are about ready for some stakes and plant ties to keep them from flopping all over each other. Oh, and great news regarding the aphids. They're nowhere to be seen. No, not a sign. And I didn't even have to reach for the spray bottle. All I did was manually remove the colonized leaves and the ladybugs cleared up the rest. It was excellent. You know, that's that's what I call natural pest control. Now, let me show you this over here. Pepper sunburn. Yeah, it happens. I observed this on just one fruit. Uh, it was fairly exposed at the front and had no protection from the canopy. The sun here is so strong that it scorched this poor pepper. Ouch! So I'll harvest this one early as uh, it may well start to rot and, you know, that'd be uncool. Now, with the hotter days and bigger plants, I've upped the irrigations to come on every hour for 15 minutes during the daytime. Now, believe me, they need it. See the way the top leaves are starting to droop a little? Don't worry, this system has just started flooding, so they'll be fine in no time. As you can see, there are a few peppers starting to turn red on the front row. Those marks, they're just calcium deposits from the hard water here. But I really want to show you the back row of plants. You know, the ones I removed the flowers from, so you can see the difference more clearly. And, as if by magic, BAM! Now you can see what I'm talking about. The plants on the back row are really different animals to those in the front. Removing the back row's flowers, together with the warm nights, and possibly their location closer to the wall, which acts as a heat sink, have caused markedly more vertical growth, which is exactly what I'd hoped for. Whether the plants reach the top of the trellis remains to be seen. But I'm going to stop removing the flowers from now on and just let them do their thing. Check out the base of these stems. They're kind of awesome, aren't they? I love the way they formed a base into the grow-down rock wool blocks. They look super sturdy. All in all, I'm really happy with the plants. The foliage looks super lush thanks to the equal parts of General Hydroponics, Flora Series Grow, Micro, and Bloom. I'm going to start switching to one part grow, two parts micro, and three parts bloom to promote fruiting in the back and ripening in the front. Well, that'll do for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to post any comments and questions. You'll find plenty more videos and articles at justforgrowers.com.